got too confident there. And it's released. And they're in trouble here. In the pit. In the pit. Apollo drives into the CP. <laughs> Who can walk the walk? <laughs> they call them the Robot Wars boy band, but are they just a one-hit wonder? I'm Dave, I'm the team captain of Team Apollo. I'll be joined by my friends Mark and Ben. Me, Mark and Ben used to work together at Holiday Parks as Blue Coat Entertainers. I'll be in charge and driving the robot. The other two will be coming up with the tactics, they're more logical thinkers. I can be quite reserved in my approach, whereas Ben and Mark are quite aggressive and they'll be the ones telling me in my ear to keep going and attacking. The flipper can flip around about a tonne, whereas the robots weigh just over 100 kilos, we should be launching them about six foot in the air. Our working as entertainers is a great way to put in a good show, which is what we're mainly about, as well as being an aggressive team, we're there to put in a good show for the public as well. Often you'll find there'll be father and son teams, there'll be teams of people who work in the same engineering company, for example. These three men, where did you three meet? Uh, we actually started on a holiday park, uh, Pontins, as blue coats. Jazz hands, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Proper show business. You did that very Proper, well, Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a hoofer, really. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, you built this, and what can this do? Uh, this is a flipper, but because it's called Apollo, we're calling it a launcher. How far can it launch something? Uh, well, it can launch um, a 50 kilo robot at least six, seven feet. But it's not always about the size. No, um, no. You know, it, it's, it's fast as well. There they are. <laughs> Apollo boasts a 1,000 PSI flipper. That power comes at a cost, though. They've only a limited supply of gas, so they'll have to use those flips wisely. The team are affectionately known in the pits as the boy band of robot wars. Robotiers, stand by. Three, two, one. Come on, let's have some smash and crash. All those robots have weaknesses. The pitch release is already signaled. Can open her in with the pinches. Apollo's in orbit. But can self right, but they only have a limited supply of CO2. Can open are worried about their high ground clearance. Could they be flipped? Yes, they can. And PP3D using that undercutter already up to speed. And look at this nuts and bolts and smithereens. And an Apollo wheel has come off too. Now that will really affect their maneuverability. 12 tons of crushing force. Mate, I can't drive. I've lost drive. They, lost oh, drive. they can't drive. They've lost steering. They've lost maneuverability. PP3D in trouble. Cado to has them in their grip, driven by two 750 watt play, motors, play. running go kart yeah. racing tyres. Nice oh, this is a real contest. This is great stuff. This is what we want. A ton of that spinner up to spin. Oh, onto the floor, flipper. About another one. The flipper sees some real action. You're supposed to stay clear of that, boys. Sweeney Todd has largely stayed out of trouble, but done absolutely. Dead. Nothing. Dead? Link's out. Really? Can opener. More bite than a great white. Or is it small fry? Sweeney Todd just about alive. I am just sliding everywhere. PP3D now closing in on Sweeney Todd and really causing damage there on the side of Sweeney Todd. They want it down in the pit. They are ghoulish. And there you can see the way the spinning disc works on top. It tends to bang into the floor, which is a worry for the PP3D team if they go through. I'm sure they will. Can opener is stopped. Immobilized. Can opener is out. Who will survive now? <laughs> Who can walk the walk? <laughs> so close. That's great yeah. stuff. <laughs> Balletics oh. from the Apollo boys. Almost space flipping. And they're a flip on the underside of PP3D. You, you want it? You want it, you're gonna get it. Apollo, great bud. 
Vincent. Applause all round. Hello, which you got through. Good news, yes. boys. Sorry for, sorry for the flip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a flip, there yeah. was a bit of... But there was also a large period of that fight where you could only turn left. Well, literally the wheels came off, <laughs> apart from the expression. Yeah, I think uh, PP. Yeah, PP3D, yeah. PB3D, yeah. He, he, did, he did our wheel, didn't he? But listen, you're through, which is the oh, main thing. Into the next set of headphones. Apollo, give him a round of applause. <laughs> So success for Apollo and PP3D who go through to the head-to-heads. Teams only have two hours to repair their robot before their next fight. In the last wars, that was all that was left. So we're um, just trying to get it back in now. Basically, the side of the robot's actually bent in, so we can't actually get the wheel in because it's bent the whole, the whole uh, axle as well. So a lot of hammering at the moment, to be honest with you. If we can't make these repairs, we won't be able to go into the next fight because we'll only have one wheel driving. Tactics clear here then. PP3D will target that back left wheel of Apollo. That wheel damage in the group battle, but Apollo will target the front of PP3D and simply try and flip it out of the arena or down into the pit. You can see that they're trying to get in underneath the blade, so to bend the blade, and we wonder whether that cutter blade's killing power has been diminished. Oh, his wheel's gone. The wheel has gone completely, or the tyre, I should say. Well, that's really dangerous. <laughs> really dangerous. Never mind, carry on. It's PP3 yeah, days spinning, spinning away. Now, which is the most mobile robot? <laughs> Oh, she's up to speed now, boys. They're up to speed with the killing blade. Don't back into it. 20 kilojoules of energy at its tip, but flipped. And that has caused major damage. Sparks fly. Yep. They're Woo. out. Well done, I think guys. that's killed well them. What a turn up here. Apollo <laughs> seems to be in all sorts of trouble, but they finished PP3D off with great style, control, and driving skills. That's brilliant maneuverability from a position of peril, but they knew what they needed to do. Get in underneath and flip. Off went the tire. There's the big lift. That's when I think the control power came out, and that was the end. Battle over, and PP3D retreat to the pit to assess the damage. We lost the wheel early on, and at that point... Luckily for them, Apollo only sustained minor battle damage. The chain itself has just come off the wheel, so that means the wheel's not actually connected to the motor. So we just need to pop the chain back on it, possibly make it a little bit tighter so it doesn't come off. And that's it. Charge the batteries, fill the gas bottle, ready for the next fight. So with both teams really needing the full three points, it's over to Jonathan. The house robots for the third head-to-head -head of this heat, Matilda. And for the first time tonight, it's the Metal Terror himself. Dead metal with a 1.4-metre-wide pincer and 450-millimetre circular saw. Deadly by name, deadly by nature. Storm 2 will try and get this over and done with as quick as they can. Apollo, we know, has sustained damage throughout this heat of one kind or another. Storm 2 with the FFF, the front floor flipper and the Sremet. Worrying then as to why they should say if Apollo flipped them, they'd be in trouble. And they can self right and then the floor flipper. Really strong throw through the air. Storm 2. Good maneuverability. Yes, they're being pushed by Apollo, but they're also dodging away and self-righting there. And again. So that sort of diminished the power of the Apollo flip. Oh, not there though, goodness me. But immediately self-righting. And then flipping Apollo. That's good work by Storm 2. Uh, you know what? I think I might have lost the chain again. Oh, I think Apollo are in trouble here. I think the chain's gone again. The pit released. And they're in trouble here. In the pit, in the pit. Apollo drives into the CP. <laughs> How dare you! Dead metal <laughs> venting its spleen and steam. And why not? Goodness me. <laughs> 
Matilda Bruges. Oh, Matilda, you're not allowed to come out and look for revenge. You know, no, 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 no. Oh, what, going, Matilda coming in for the kiss of life. Ooh, yeah. Now, Apollo flips Storm 2 and goes to flip again. Matilda, what is she doing? Oh, dear, Matilda nudging a teammate back into life, it would seem, or maybe towards the pit, surely not cannibalistic. House Roblox. Apollo, meanwhile, is trying to think to stay away from any damage Storm 2 can cause. And pushed on to Matilda. Were they going to flip Matilda? I think they were. I think they got too confident there. Ah, oh, they've done it! A KO blow for the second time. They've taken just about everyone out. I've never ever seen it before. Not in a single battle. Oh, goodness me, and Apollo. Flippers too broken. confident by half the only one in the pit. Storm 2, canny. They played possum. They played dead, but look at this. Suddenly it's Apollo showboating in oh, trouble. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kristen, we have a problem with Apollo. Storm 2 is being encouraged by the crowd to get them in the pit, and they're going in the pit. Who knows? Oh. Very nearly saw, saw This is a Robot Wars classic. An absolute belter. Cease court. Oh. Oh, that was memorable. It'll go to the judges, and if Apollo get it, they're through. Wow. <laughs> that was an epic fight. Not content with taking on one opponent, you destroyed two house robots in the process. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> what, just for kicks? We were defending ourselves. We were in the corner. We could see Matilda's You were not. Really. You went in. You went in and literally turfed dead metal upside down. Well, the down. flipper was working on full power for the first time. We wanted to show the audience what he can do. Well, listen, I think they get it. Do you get it? Yeah! Thank you very much, Dara. Yes, Dead Metal and Matilda and the House Robots have a grudge against Apollo. Off we go for a place in the grand final. Apollo and Storm 2, nervous here, look, feeling each other out. Apollo just trying to get the lifting mechanism and Storm 2 driving in underneath. This is what they did when they met earlier on and into the CPZ and this is where Maybe Sonic can get revenge now! Again, a house robot has been flipped for the third time in the night. Apollo flips a house robot over goes Shunt. <laughs> Apollo already through, but they want to stay out of trouble here because they've sustained chain damage. And they need to fight later in the competition. Eruption playing for pride, really. I think they're unfortunate to be pointless thus far. And they're on the aggressive here, trying to get to Apollo's side on to get their flipper into action now from the rear. And I don't think that's enough power in Eruption's flipper to push Apollo up and over. It was! And Apollo dancing around. The famous blue coats, dancers and prancers and a tumble in the rumble of robot walls. What can Eruption do? Oh, look at the pirouette by Eruption. Apollo, Ooh, under pressure here. Well, they're through to the final, but this is not an infallible machine. Oh, no. It's, 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 it's all gone wrong. The flipper is oh, stuck go, 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 open. Go, go, go. They have a relatively oh. low supply of gas. They Enough know that. Working. I yeah, think I they've been immobilised. They have to be wise using the launcher. I don't think there's any activity left in the launcher. And an eruption here heading for its first uh, bout of the night. And into the CPZ. Apollo need to get out of the clutches. They're of dead metal, that's for sure. Really good work by eruption. And Michael Oates, we know he's a good driver. Pirouetting there on the blade. Oh, lovely stuff. Really good slow motion, that. Topsy turvy, the life of a robot here. Eruption! What a way to go! Yeah. Where was that guy in the previous fights? It was there, he just couldn't get onto the opponent. I mean, so. it definitely did it yeah, this time. It, it was nice to go out on a good A fight. nice little pirouette right on yeah. the nose there. That, yeah, was, that, that, pretty that was quite sassy. stylish. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Well, you guys went out on a high. Can we get a round of applause, please, for Eruption? Three points for you guys. Well done. Apollo. Were you holding back? Um, not really. I've, once again, we had an issue with the drive. 
Uh, the flipper was working fine, but right. for some reason, about a minute into the fight, the drive just stopped on the robot, so... I mean, it seems like we see two different versions of Apollo. One yeah. is an absolute master, and then one who's, you know, really quite vulnerable when it's not working. There's some reliability issues in the drive that we do need to sort out before the next fight. All topsy-turvy in the shunt world now. Dancing a dizzy jig in that corner. But no extra points for Apollo for that. Don't forget, Storm 2 has the, I think, more significant drive. If they can push Apollo towards a pit, they could have a chance. They're certainly getting in underneath again, under that front ground clearance of Apollo when they can nudge it up into the air. The control and aggression is from Storm 2, but the damage was from Apollo with the flip. Powerful surge. The supply of gas well used there. They know they have to be sensible with it. And in the previous fight, that sort of flip caused damage to Storm 2. No house trouble in the CPZ. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Storm 2 flying through the air. And now Apollo shaping up to have another ram. And meanwhile, Matilda's on the warpath. Matilda, get out of the way. She can cross into a CPZ if the competitors go in there and once again. Oh, she's now self righted her compatriot. Big blow on the Storm 2. And another one out! Yes! Apollo! Yes, yes! Storm 2 over and out. Houston control. What a robot. What a heat. Apollo deserve winners through to the grand final. Storm 2 did so well with a nudge and a smudge of hope. Oh, Apollo's got some front, some courage to take on the house robots. And look at that, Storm 2 just tossed through the air, spinning like a dice. Your luck is out, so are you. Storm 2, fine finalists, you've, you've done very well, although maybe defensive robot more than anything else, very low, very compact, and you probably need to go into the attack a bit more, really. It is particularly painful to watch your robot be flipped out of the arena. No. There are far worse ways, I for, believe you're far lying. Worse ways uh, for a robot to fail than leaving the arena. There's, there's got to be something about it. whole and not in a bin bag. OK, fine. That's OK, Grant. OK, that is. But in a more correct way, it's also a loss. So... <laughs> Everybody, it's Apollo! I mean, that is how to win a final exam. Yeah, well, it's the first time the robot has fully worked. Yeah. Every time we've gone into a fight, we've lost a wheel or the entire drive. So that shows when it works 100%, we can take on anyone. The main thing was just to, to make sure we're, we're entertaining. That's what we do. So when we came into this, every match, we don't want to be boring. We want to do the best we can, and, and hopefully everyone's had a good time I mean, watching. That is the way to do it. You went through to the grand final. That's all from us tonight on Robot Wars. Good night. <laughs>